Alright, Shalom. Alright, we want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Ba Hashem. Ba Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem. Ba Hashem. We'll call. We'll call. Kadash. Kadash. Double honors to the apostle and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us his truth. And peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man who pushed in his truth and faith and sincerity. Mr. Brother Yitazaka. Uh, we're just gonna um, we're just gonna dive right in the scripts, you know. Uh, this uh, Isaiah chapter sixty-three verse seventeen. O Lord Yahweh, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways and harden our heart from thy fear? Return for thy servants' sake the tribes of thine inheritance. Hey, return for thy servants' sake, and that's uh, Israel. Ultimately, starting with the elect because. That's why uh, we, um, matter of fact, when you read Second Edges, the 15th chapter, Yahweh, Yahweh he, he, he hears us up here, he hears us down here calling out to him. And he said he's not going to suffer us to dwell in his wicked kingdom. He's not going to suffer us to continually uh, see all this wickedness and uh, get down with all this with all this garbage. Because Yahweh knows that he got uh, his son, Yahweh Shai, got men down here just uh, fighting and staying strong. And Yahweh Shai, he going, Yahweh going to be like, all right, it's time, go ahead, it's time to go get him. Go bring, uh, go bring Yahshua out of They, uh, they, it's like when your parents put you in punishment, you got to go sit in that corner like, damn, man, fuck. Huh. And then that time up, you be, you be like, yeah, it's time to come out of this, John. Now I can now go back to doing what I was doing. Yahweh going to turn Yahweh Shai back like, yo, go, go get, uh, go get your brothers. Punishment's up now. That's it. Time, time. That's right. I'm going to read down uh, one more. It says, The people of thy holiness have possessed it but a little while. Our adversaries have trodden down thy sanctuary. God, and you got uh, Israel is completely destroyed right now. They are uh, turning to uh, Sodomites, um, worshiping false gods. They, You got heathen literally in our land right now as we speak. Uh, we, we, we in the ghettos completely destroyed. We killing each other over nothing. It's completely, uh, it's com we, we completely destroyed. Huh. Yeah, say the adversaries have trodden down our sanctuary, man. <laughs> Just like in, uh, I think it was, uh, Psalms 137 when they say, uh, remember, uh, remember Edom who, who said, uh, raise it, raise it to the foundation thereof, you know, talking about our, our temp, our, our holy temples and, you know, uh, our, our altars, you know, our places of, 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 of worship and, and sacrifices towards Yahweh Bashim al you know. And, and these these adversaries, they have completely uh, destroyed us, like the ox said, man, because we, uh, really, we are the sanctuary of the Heavenly Father, you know. And we've been trodden down, man. These, these uh, like I said in um, Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, you know, these, um, these, these nations who have ever been reputed as nothing, uh, have began to rule over us, man. You know why? Because they trotting us down, man. We on the bottom, you know, and that's why we crying out to the Lord. Because all these other nations, they done had their chance to rule. You know, they done had a fair chance to rule. All these heathen nations, man. Ham, uh, uh, Ishmael, Elam, you know, Moab, Ammon, um, uh, e Esau, you know, Edom, you know, uh, Japheth. All these nations done had the opportunity to rule, but the nation of Israel, all we had was the 40, 40 years of peace under King Solomon, man. That's it. You had some precepts up? Yeah, I got one. I got one. This, uh, just let me know if you got one. This, uh, Isaiah chapter 54, verse, uh, Seven, for a so small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. Down for a small moment I have forsaken thee, and like like I was saying earlier, that's just that that punishment we got to go through. Just like Yahweh Shai had to go through that punishment. That's why when uh, Yahweh Shai got up on that cross, he was like, uh, he was like, Father, why are you forsaken? Now we we know that happened because Yahweh Shai at that moment. He took on all the sins of Israel, but and that's what's, and that's really ultimately what's going to happen to us 
because as um, what's happening right now, because as we walk through this and we wake up, we're bearing all the sins that we had in, uh, in, in our lives right now before we woke up. But now we got to, we're on that cross bearing those sins that we got. So we're praying to Yahweh, uh, asking him not to forsake us, to, uh, to pull us up, take, take our spirits and uh, put it on the chariots. Just like when Yahweh Shah left here. And uh, you had the two angels say the same way he left, so the same way he's going to come back. Mm hmm. Huh, huh. Beautiful. Uh, verse 8 In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, said the Lord, thy Yahweh Shai, thy Redeemer. Johnny, he's going to have mercy on him. And he's been made that promise. That's from all the way back from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You can, like, when you read uh, Hebrews 8 and 8, where it goes into the New Covenant, he's going he to have to make with the house of Israel and house of Judah. And that was also, that was, uh, they, they said the same, Jeremiah said the same thing. And uh, Jeremiah 31, 31. It goes into how Israel is going to need that New Covenant. Uh -huh. Because that, we couldn't keep the entire law. That's why Yahweh, that fault, for finding fault, we couldn't keep the whole law. And what he do? He sent Yahweh Shah back to basically give us a second chance. Right. Right. Time, bro. Time. I'm going to go down to 10. It says, For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be wroth with thee, nor rebuke thee. For the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, said the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, that have mercy on thee. Yeah, so, so everything is going to be destroyed. Every, all, the, uh, all the cities, all the towns, all the people, all the nations, all, everything you can have trust in in this world can be destroyed. But Yahweh Shemel Shah, that, that's, that, that's forever. His, his love is going to be forever. His mercy is going to be forever, especially unto uh, the elect. Because Yahweh loves Yahweh Shai. Like, that's his man. And Yahweh Shai is going to vouch for the elect. So, so just like Yahweh Shai, you know, these, these, my, uh, these my boys, I, uh, I'm vouching for them. He going to so, and, and that happening, he's going to show us the same love that he gave Yahweh Shai. That's why the elect are going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Huh, huh, yep, that's right. Uh, I got another one, unless you got one up. Yeah. Um, it's uh, Psalms chapter 30, verse 5. For his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Yeah, when you go into, um, when you go into, uh, second... Edwards 6 and 9, they tell you that Esau is the end of the world. And that's that night that we're in right now that we got to endure all this hardness. That's why you read uh, Acts 14.22. That's, that's how the, uh, the souls of the disciples are going to be confirmed through the tribulation that we're going through right now, that, it's, that we're in right now, this night. Now we know the morning is the beginning that Second Edwards is talking about. Six and nine, where it goes into how uh, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is uh, the beginning, the one to follow. That's going to be the morning, where uh, the elect are going to reign with Yahweh Shai. Come, bro. Come. Uh, go here. This uh, Isaiah twenty six and twenty. It says, "Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers." And shut thy doors about thee, hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. And then when you look at uh, Jacob Shovel and also uh, Jacob Shovel, the, the elect, they're going to be uh, covered from all the destruction that's going to come. They're not going to be touched. They go into that in uh, Isaiah, the 65th chapter, where the elect not going to be touched. They're going to be eating, uh, drinking singing psalms they gonna be uh they gonna be street relatively street compared to what's going on and then even deeper than that that's going into uh israel coming up coming into the chariots because uh yeah i wish i said it'd be some of you standing here which i'll not taste the death 
And um, death is the, uh, the spirit, just spirit leaving the body. And that death is going to be for the elect. It's going to, uh, the spirit is going to leave the body, go up into those uh, chariots. And they're going to see all the destruction that's going on in America. The nukes, the beams from the ships, laser beams, things getting blown to dust, just like on uh, that movie War of the Worlds. Kind. Kind, bro. Kind. And, and uh, you know, those chambers, too. You know, you can apply that to the wedding chambers, and that's what we're doing. You know, we 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 enduring. You know, we 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 have been betrothed. You know, we engaged to be uh, remarried back unto the heavenly Father, man. You know, so we hiding in those wedding chambers, man, until it's time for us to to walk down that aisle, and that's when we we're gonna uh you know like the ox said be translated to uh, those chariots, man. Lord willing, you know, and and, and see the the indignation, um. You know, the, the ultimate indignation of the heavenly father that's going to come upon all those who are not uh who, who are not in those chambers who, who are not in those chambers you know because right now we are we're, we're enduring this all right but we're enduring this waiting in the wedding chamber and then ultimately it's going to physically manifest to us being in those chambers which are those chariots you know being hid from the destruction that's going to come upon all those who uh didn't want to endure you know um the 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 the, the chastisement that the Heavenly Father has, has brought upon us, you know? That made me think, uh, so like, it made me think of one quick precept. Uh, so, uh, um, so like, yeah. Yeah, here it go right here. This Revelation chapter 3, verse 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. You got it, bro. So it says, as many as the Heavenly Father loves, he rebukes and chastens, man. You know? And he loves the nation of Israel. How about Shem Shah doesn't love no other nation, man? All right, so that's why we have to endure this, uh, this, this, this wrath, this indignation for a little moment, man. All right, why? Because uh, we're gonna have we have a perpetual rulership uh, coming for, for us, like the ox said that that morning. You know, that's that that's coming soon. It's it's right around the corner, man. Scriptures say when you see all these things begin to happen, lift up your head for your for your redemption draweth nigh. All right, and that's what time we in right now. So we supposed to be lifting up our heads, man. All right, why? Because joy finna come in the morning. And what's the morning? That's when uh, Israel has that perpetual uh, rulership, like the ox said, man. All right. I got one. You got one. First uh, Timothy five and six. First ten, five and six. All right, this first Timothy. I'm gonna follow up. Can you get what? Uh, can you get what you call first? Uh, yeah. Philippians one twenty one. Philippians one and twenty one. Come. This um, Salakia. Make a mistake and click the buff for it. Salakia brothers. This uh Philippians chapter one verse twenty one for to me to live is hamashak and to die is gain. Uh, so to the only way, and this is uh, the elect. The only way to live for the elect is to be in Yahweh Bashim Yashah. That's life, because we, we 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 find pleasure in doing the work. We find pleasure in uh rebuking these wicked spirits. We find pleasure in denying ourselves. And uh, standing strong and bold for Yahweh Bashim Yashai, not conforming to the world, not uh, not uh, breaking the law, being being uh, strong, fighting against the, uh, the flesh, even though the flesh is is uh right now got in a sense more more uh more power than the spirit we got because we can't do it ourselves. We got to constantly pray. And that's for strength from Yahweh Bashim Yashah. Because it wasn't for him. We, we, we already lost that battle. In the world, we already lost that battle. But come back into the truth, we, we pray for you to Yahweh Bashim Yashah to give us power and uh, to, to help us fight these battles because we, we can't beat the flesh alone. That, that's not That's out. That's why we were defeated in the world because we didn't have a spirit. Now you can get the... Uh, then go to the uh, first 10 and 5. Be, yeah, Con. 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 Um, 
is first timothy chapter 5 verse 6 but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth mm. and israel is uh comparable to uh to a, a woman yep and then you got israel right now living in pleasure they're dead while they're living they're dead while they're living and the scriptures say them that uh wander by the way of understanding is going to remain in the congregation of the dead Time, bro. and why are they doing it they living in pressure they living in pleasure they don't they, they don't want to uh they don't want to sacrifice they don't want to and they want they don't want to endure hardness right and yahweh Shah said he's coming back to give us um 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 give us rest he's mm -hmm. coming back to give us rest yep. he's going to take that yoke off of us he said he's going to do it but you got two-thirds of the nation of israel they want to uh they want to live in pleasure Time, bro. so they gonna have to die Time. Time. beautiful bro uh, i got uh like two more in there if you got any more Hold on, you, let me get this first. I, I has, it had almost escaped me, but you made me think of this one too. I got this one for you. This is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2. Uh, is it, no, is it 2 Timothy? So, like, I think 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Yeah, kind. It's uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashah. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 12 12 the king's wrath is as the roaring of a lion but his favor is as dew upon the grass okay. yeah so let's say the king's wrath which we know who's the great almighty king that's that's the heavenly father Yahweh, man all right it says it's as a roaring lion and, that, and that's spiritual as well because we know that uh our lord Yahweh shot coming in the stead of our uh of the heavenly father Yahweh, and he's uh considered as the lion, of, he's he's the lead uh, lion of the tribe of Judah, man. You know, and he's gonna come with wrath like a roaring lion, man. So that's spiritual. It says a king, and he and he's the king of all kings. It says a king's wrath is as the the roaring of a lion, and that's what we've experienced uh, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. We've is, is, experienced that 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 wrath, man. You know, if if, if a lion roaring at you, man, you are gonna be spooked, then you you your ass might just freeze up, you know. See, you might die off, 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 off just hearing the roar, you know? And and that's what we're going through right now. And it, But it said, but his favor is as dew upon the grass. And when you look up dew, all right, in Google, it's it's like that uh, little wet water that be on the grass in the morning, in the lawn, or, or your lawn in the morning. Like, it be all over the grass. You be like, how in the hell did this, that's the, that's the dew, you know? And that's, and that's in, uh, you can't count that, man. And that's in comparison to how much mercy you have by Shemal Shah is going to show uh, us for you know for enduring his wrath man and that's why we gotta uh you know just just take this for this little moment because this mo moment just going to temporary man you know just a, a time a, a small time period man and that's what we're going through right now you know and we coming to the end of that man and we're gonna receive that favor man that favor from the heavenly father you know lord willing, lord willing. 
Yeah, Lord willing, come. This uh, this the last verse. This proverb chapter eleven, verse twenty-seven. But he that diligently seek of good procure favor. But he that seek of mischief, it shall come to him unto him. Uh, it said he that that diligently seek of good procure favor, man. All right, let me get that word procure. And that's uh bakash, bakash. It says to seek, to require, desire, exact, to seek, to find, to desire, demand, to require, to ask, to be sought. So he that diligently seek of good is is uh is 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 is, is um. Uh, seek, seeking after favor, man. All right, uh, has favor sought out from Yahweh by Shimei Shine. That's what we do, man. All right, because what's good? Well, there's only one good. That's Yahweh, you know. And we following after the ways of Yahweh by Shimei man. All right, so that that that's us diligently seeking good, man. All right, so we are we are seeking favor because favor and mercy is gonna come from Yahweh by Shimei Shai by us seeking good, us putting off uh the ways of this world and enduring the the indignation that was brought upon us. All right. But it say, but he that seek of mischief, it shall come unto him. So if you're not seeking Yahweh by Shimei all right, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna get caught up in the wrath, man. All right, you're gonna get caught up in the, in the heavenly Father's indignation that's gonna come upon this place, man. All right, so that's why we gotta seek Yahweh by Shimei Alsha ten times more, like it's saying Baruch the fourth chapter, man. No, but that's it. You had anything else up? Yeah. All right. Well, with that, we wanna give our praises to Yahweh. Bashem. Bashem. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Bashem. Bashem. Recall. Recall. Kadash. Kadash. Double honor to the apostle and elders of great millstone rule well. And peace and salutations to the house of David. Shalom to the elect.